Hey everyone, Brian Zane here with Jay Biggs. Now Biggs, I hope you're hungry. Because remember a couple years ago we did that one wrestling food taste test, the Ultimate Warrior cereal and all that. Yes, it's probably the one we get the most people coming up saying, we know that one. After doing some digging around online, I did find a fair amount of other wrestling themed snacks. Who would have thought? None of these are from current times. These are all at least a decade old. So it should be really interesting to see. <laughs> what are we about to go through? Let's, let's hold on to our tum-tums because things can get very interesting. <laughs> First item on the menu is WWE Crunch Time Popcorn. Now this was sold as part of a snack pack that also included some drinkware, and I'll show you that in a second. But this, you know, when I got the original packaging, it was still wrapped up in the plastic, it had a Rite Aid sticker on it, so it sold it in pharmacies. I believe they also sold this at the old WWE Niagara Falls store. I actually took the liberty of popping the popcorn before we started rolling, so. This popcorn still smells delicious. I want to point this out, all right? So let's, yeah, let's just pour it out and put it in the bins and see what happens here. Yeah, okay. There we go, I like this so far. <laughs> Make it rain. Make it rain popcorn. So yeah, I was expecting it to be like red or something because attitude, but that's not the case, just regular popcorn. But yeah, it came with these cool little plastic bins that looked like, you know, popcorn bags. I guess you can keep it, you know, it's for, for a cool cheap date night or movie night at home. Ladies, if you want to sneak this in your purse, so if you have popcorn, you don't have to pay for it at the theater, I guess this is a way to do it. It's kept very well for as old as it is. I was gonna say, man. Pop, popcorn keeps, so it's not like we're expecting anything crazy, but you know, it's not stale. Uh, the flavor, it's like a light butter flavor. It's not that great. There's better light butter popcorns yeah, out there. There's no pop secret to this, that's yeah. for sure. Um, it's pretty, yeah, the more, the more I have, it's like pretty bland, actually. There, there really is no butter flavor the more I eat it. <laughs> so, it's lies. It's just corn that's pop. It's just lies, light butter flavor, or it's butter light flavor, what the hell that means. Maybe the order means something different, but yeah. This is, um, this is the popcorn. It tastes like pretty bland popcorn. Well, I don't know about you, Jay, but eating all that popcorn really made me feel thirsty, you mm -hmm. know? And like I said, the, the the pack, the Crunch Time Snack Pack came with these cool WWE glasses. They're nice quality, it's, it's real glass and everything. I can, easily, glass. I can easily see, you know, using this in a regular uh, everyday situation, but what better way to wash down that Crunch Time popcorn than with some Hulk Hogan energy drink? Ooh. This was made by uh, Socko, which uh, has, I don't, I don't think it's anything to do with Mick Foley's Mr. Socko, though I would imagine, though, if you were to get a mandible Socko in the mouth, that would wake right. you up. So th this is pretty old. This is like from 2007. <laughs> well, anything with Hulk Hogan on it right now is pretty dated because he's been out of the company for right, years. Right, right. This is racist juice. Um, <laughs> Pop this open here. I've never had... Still got carbonation. Yeah, it still has some fizz. Let's, uh... Back when Hogan was still oh popular. My God. It's even yellow like the Hulkster's skin. Look at that. It's all, you know, it's... Got the featuring jaundice. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I didn't refrigerate this, so we're gonna have oh, room temperature energy drink. How I apologize. I, I don't think I'm gonna have much energy after this anyway. <laughs> I haven't had energy drink in like years since one of my first jobs after college. You so. think this is what the glasses both look like at New York, New York, or maybe something like that? Oh, you think this is the, they yeah. took this from the world? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. New York? Maybe, maybe these are just left over from the restaurant. We gotta get rid of all these glasses. Right. <laughs> Cheers, and uh, let's drink up, brother. Well, whatever fizz it had when you pour it out, sure tastes really flat here. Yeah, it went right away. It, it left. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. It left faster than Hulk Hogan when he heard he had a job to Billy Kidman. The flavor of it, it's like it tastes like an energy drink. It's got the kind of metallic taste. Um, at least, at least Piper. They he may never, never won the belt, but he got over better with beverages. Yeah, the bubblegum soda last time <laughs> that was way better. It's, it's not really as sugary as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I expected it to be sweeter than this. Way sweeter. It's actually gonna blend. Um, yeah, it's almost like a Powerade in a weird way, like a like a lime Powerade that's watered down or something. Yeah, I, I can know. definitely see that. You're right. It does taste like, you know, more like a you know a sports drink than an energy drink. Certainly has right. the the lack of carbonation like a sports <laughs> right. drink. There's a little bit of you know it almost looks like beer now with the yellow color of it and like you see kind of like the foam on the sides. Kind of reminds you of like a, a, a lame beer. I have only one question for you viewers. Who's next to try some Goldberg jelly beans out of a plastic bottle that also doubles as a coin bank? So when you're done eating these, you can save up your shekels and get that new Goldberg action figure. Also, I don't know about you, Biggs, but uh, do, you, do you think Goldberg in this picture kind of looks like Grimm to you from Grimm's Toy Show? Yeah, there we go. Breakthrough. Okay, thank God it's been sealed. Sealed for freshness and for our protection. Here's, I, 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 my wonder going into this is, mm -hmm. is how hard are these gonna be? Yeah, it could be. They've gotten horribly stale. It's also yellow and black, and I associate black jelly beans with licorice. I really smell hope they're not licorice flavored. I can smell it from here, I think it is. The, oh, well, I don't know if that's just the, is the licorice or just the plastic. Here we go, let's look at these bad boys. So, there you go, you've got, 
You look like a you deer grow, turds. You can grow fine sure. beanstalk with those beans. The yellow pill, here you go. Oh God. I, oh. Dude, that's a lemon drop, bro. All right. Our lemon head or it whatever. It feels like point. you're eating a fresh lemon head because they're so hot. Yeah. <laughs> There's no jelly. I, ah. Where are we going to? We're going to the snack factory in Princeton, New Jersey and tell them there's no jelly <laughs> whatsoever. Here we go. Yeah, my filling. Oh, this is up. Oh. That combo? Yeah. yeah. Please, don't pick that. <laughs> this is definitely licorice. Who thought lemon and licorice, oh, was, a mad good licorice. was a good idea <laughs> for jelly beans <laughs> or life? What's or that? anything. Lemon and licorice. Oh yeah. That's a classic combination like peanut butter and cod liver oil. It's like something <laughs> your grandma, your great grandma would have given you as like a home elixir of some sort. Oh well, yeah. The combination I think is it's two different sides of the spectrum. If you Ugh. had done like banana and chocolate or lemon and even like, you know, I don't know, a berry or something, you know, something it's like something, that. Something, something in the same category. But this is like I something like, you can share with your grandpa because your grandpa's gonna be like, give me all those. Licorice ones. I had to wash it down with this because it's so bad. All right, next on the docket is WWF Treat. This was clearly made during the uh, late 90s, the Attitude Era, based on like who's on it. You've got Austin and Kane and Undertaker and The Rock, and I believe Jim that's, Horn. that's Sable on the left. I'm guessing these are old gummies, but just feeling them in my hand, they're so rock hard. They're old hard candies. Yeah, they're all hard, yeah, basically. So it's, it's fat free, so which is good because I'm on a bit of a diet. Pouring them out here. Okay, we got a bunch yeah. of different multicolored blobs. Uh, I can see there's... Is that No, that's a sable. Oh. That's a sable face. Look at this. I can't even tell... If this is... or Jesus. I can't even tell this is the top <laughs> of it. Let's look here. This is the sable one right here. So that's an idea of what you're working with here. All right, here's Austin right here. Either that or, you know, they got their packaging mixed up and they made a Goldberg one instead. But what is this boot-shaped one? Uh, I did, I did. This one is like, I, it's, I it, the face has been lost. It's like an it. accessory or something? I, like, yeah. <laughs> comes with, with leather <laughs> boot. This is Undertaker. This yeah. right here is Undertaker. That For is... Sure. That really captures the essence of the dead man here, folks. Okay, here, the boot is the rock. That's what it's supposed oh, to be. Is it? okay. This is a little more detailed. You can kind of tell. It's like he, he's doing his hand like this as he's doing the eyebrow. Oh, like, is that what it is? That's what that okay, is. I see it. If these if these were trees, they'd live in the petrified forest. These are. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just dented my table for doing that. You did. <laughs> yeah. Can you taste anything yet? Very slightly. It's like gelatiny. Ah. Oh, see my jaw popping. I now? just heard that. <laughs> I would love to try these when they were fresh, you know? Maybe I should have put these in water before we ate yeah, them. Yeah, I know, I was thinking about it. You should have had Hogan put them over and dissolve them. Yeah, put, just put a few in here right now. All right. Oh, wait, those things disintegrate. Yeah, watch they disintegrate. Oh, like in the thing with the blood. So up next on our list, we've got this WWF chocolate bar. It's got Triple H on it. I'm sure this is part of a larger collection of bars and, you know, kind of similar to what we did with the FYE bars earlier this year. I love the back of this label here because it says, no chumps were body slammed in the making of these bars. I guess they, they have like a, a sign when you go into the factory where they make these that says, no body slams in the last 400 days or something. <laughs> yeah, so the, the accident <laughs> board. Every once in a while, somebody wipes it off like, son of a bitch, <laughs> right. somebody body Body slammed Carl. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh man. Let's oh. Is this the salted caramel new Hershey's bar? Oh, let's get a close up of this. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's look at this right here. Look at the majesty of this chocolate. It's dried out. It's disgusting. Smell like shit. I can I kind of have like a weird... Well, it does kind of smell that's, like shit. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, I, I thought I smelled a turd. For the integrity and the good of this show, and because I want to entertain these people, I've got to take a bite of this, though. Honestly. What? No yes. way, dude, no. Yeah, I'll have a little bite, a little square. No, little I don't square. think it's, it's milk chocolate. Yeah. Well, it's it's not like dark chocolate. It's got milk in it. Uh, what year are we looking at? I mean... Well, it's got to be 99. When's the, the last time here? Triple H gave Shane a pedigree? No, let's get... Uh, it's well, the Survivor Series, first of all. But no, before that, it had to have been... I guess you're right. 99. I guess you're I'm right. guessing. Uh, uh, I don't know, you know man. But yeah, I, whatever. You know, it's it's all about taking risks, man. I'm going to I'm gonna take this bite. All right, watch me. Watch me not take this bite. Don't do that. You're going to get sick. So the last item on our menu today, Biggs, is something that's really peculiar. It's really the oddest thing out of this entire assortment. I just had to buy it though. There are these things called super sticks, which 
is just a bunch of sticks of bubble gum tacked together. I don't know why. Really? Yeah, usually you see a pack of gum, like it's all kind of stacked on top of itself. It's like a right, very compact. Right, right. No, you get this big fucking two by four of gum that's just like in a package <laughs> like this. And there's different flavors. There's a lemon sour for stone cold. Oh, and my favorite, the sable watermelon. Watermelon, yeah, how appropriate that sable gets the one that's named after the melon. Yeah, can you imagine that creative meaning? <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, you gotta name them the watermelons. <laughs> Sable's got the watermelons, bro. You're gonna appreciate the boobies, bro. Now, the real hook to this super stick is that not only is this a very impractical way of packaging bubblegum, you also have, it says here in the label that the little action scenes, little illustrations, like printed on the gum. That is uh, why I'm really sure. curious. The dye has bled a little yes, bit into has. the paper that's backing this gum. What? <laughs> Look at this. How oh, does smell it. Oh. Oh, well, that, that, that smells I, sour. Something yeah, sour for sure. Yeah. Now, is the scene printed on the gum? Okay, you can kind of make out. It was. It smells like apple cider vinegar. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, look, you can kind of see. Oh, dude, I don't even eat that. Okay, look, you can, you can barely make out the image of The Rock, a couple different pictures, like there's him doing the eyebrow, and you can see the old WWF logo here. You can see he's raising his arms. This looks like everyone the title at Survivor Series. There's another promo picture, but you can't see anything in the No, 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 this is the Titan from when DX comes out. Are you ready? Oh yeah, it's the... <laughs> <laughs> Look at the, the artistry on this women's championship. There's like, let's put some squiggles down there. No one's gonna know the difference. Also, we're gonna put our eyes way far apart. This is the Austin one. You can see the colors, the, the dye of the gum is bled into this this paper, it's disgusting. <laughs> this gum is melted into the into the card. I can't even extract a piece of gum off this. Let's try, okay, here, I'm gonna okay, bend oh, it. Oh, look at that. Ugh. Uh, Ugh. I dare you to uh, eat that, Brian. Look at this. And for, for, our, for our WrestleMania hotel. Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> look at it all flaky and sticky. Okay, I gotta try it. Dude, you're joking me. No, oh. Mwah. Mwah. It, it dissolves to powder as you chew it. You oh, it. God. oh, dude. God. <laughs> this shows you guys how much he loves you here on this channel. I I, I love you, but maybe not that much. <laughs> God, dude. All right, the green one's next. Right. What? <laughs> no way. I'm Rick selling this whole thing. You're kidding me, <laughs> oh, right? This is the apple sour, I believe. That's a... Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm. That one tastes a little better than lemon sour. Oh. I, I can deal with gore and I'm not even interested in this. This is bad. <laughs> uh, this is bad. Do you want to try one of these? Just, just for the experience? Uh, no. You don't want to suffer no, as I have? No, no I don't. <laughs> I, I like you, Brian, but oh. I'm not going to... Just because you jump off the bridge doesn't mean I'm going to follow. This is a watermelon sour. Let's see how this one tastes. Oh, God. It's like it's like eating... Like, oh, it's eating chalk. Yeah, ugh. I'm telling ugh. you, bro. It probably, it probably <laughs> tastes... A whole piece, finally. God, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's like... Are you swallowing this? No, I'm spitting it all out. Oh, okay. Thank gonna... you. Oh, God. No. Okay. Well, it's... Uh... it's... It's essential, like, thin wax at this point. Oh, it's some sort of a... Uh, dude. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and you're going back for more of the Hogan. That's the worst stuff I've ever tasted in my life. Probably the best thing out of all this was the popcorn. And that even wasn't that great. It right. was like bland and not very flavorful. And then the Hogan energy drink was a, a distant second. Then everything just went downhill from right. there. I think, that, I, I think the lemon jelly beans weren't that bad. It was just that they were hard. You know, they just remind me of lemon eggs. And, the ju and, and putting that next to the liquor. The licorice, that's what kind of blew that Made no in. sense. Yeah. If you guys have any more, you know, wrestling snacks that you can find, uh, let us know about it so we can make ourselves suffer some more for maybe a third installment of this because, you know, as disgusting as it is, it's been pretty fun, I will admit. Right. So, yeah, right. if you find any more wrestling themed candies or snacks, send them our way. Uh, I got the mailing address for our P.O. box in the description. For Jay Biggs, I'm Brian Zane, and we'll see you next time.